What's going on YouTube? It's Maddie with Fusaro Fitness. How much fiber should we be consuming a day? This seems to raise a lot of concern lately because a lot of people obviously are talking about if it fits your macros and we stress the importance of hitting your proteins, carbohydrates, and fat macronutrients. But oftentimes people forget about fiber. And the question always comes up is how much fiber should we be consuming a day? And there really is no concrete number. The American Dietetic Association says anywhere from 10 to 13 grams per thousand calories. So if you were eating 2,000 calories, anywhere from 20 to 26 grams of fiber per day, which I would say is actually pretty low. And the scary thing is, is that your average person really doesn't even get that much, unless of course they are on this kick where they feel like they need to have fiber with every meal and every snack and they start eating fiber one cereal and fiber one snack bars and it just gets a little bit out of control. So yes, there is such thing as eating too much fiber and there are some negative side effects to that. You can decrease the amount of nutrient absorption you're getting, mineral absorption, and of course, obviously fiber has its, its positive side effects or its benefits such as slowing down gastric emptying, more feeling of fullness, satiety, it helps you stay regular. It makes you shit. Uh, there are a ton, ton of great positive benefits to fiber, but the one thing that, uh, one take home point I want to make here is if you currently eat a low fiber diet, if you're somewhere in that lower range of 15 to 20 grams a day, do not all of a sudden up that to 50, 60, or 80 grams a day because someone told you how important fiber is. That is probably going to mess up your insides pretty badly and you won't feel too great for a little bit of time. So if you are a low fiber eater, increase that slowly by introducing more fruits and vegetables into your diet. That won't only give you fiber, but some micronutrients as well. If you have a low fiber diet, don't mess around with psyllium husks and fiber powders right away. And if you do, introduce it slowly into your diet. Again, the problem is, is when you make too huge of a jump. If you already have an extremely high fiber diet, you could start to cut that down. Now you're thinking, so what the hell is the magic number? Again, there is no concrete number. I would say if you were anywhere between 35 and 60 grams of fiber per day, you should be fine. You can go around 15 to 20 calories per thousand you're eating. So if you would think about 2,000 calories, you'd probably be safe around 30 to 40 grams of fiber. If you require a ton of calories, if you're bulking, that number will not hold true because that would mean that if you were eating 5,000 calories, you would probably be eating like 100 grams of fiber a day. Might not feel too good with that either. So with that said, find a healthy range. You can stick between around 15 grams per thousand calories. A little bit more won't hurt you too bad, but just don't let it drop too low. So that's really it. Are you allowed to use psyllium husks, fiber powder, guar gum, stuff like that to help thicken your food, give you a better feeling of fullness and help you hit those fiber ranges? Absolutely, but do not use them as replacements to your fruits and vegetables. So I hope this video gives you some insight. You can feel free to leave comments down below or ask me any questions you may have on the topic. I can do my best to help out. Again, there is no concrete number. There are ranges and just stick within those ranges and you should be fine. Anyway, thank you very much for watching the video. I appreciate it as always. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.